Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. If you want to create a legacy in the WWE women's division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. Charlotte will stop you and then leave an imprint of her boot tattooed on your face. Highly skilled in every facet. Strength, brawling ability, risk-taking, mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated, so revered. Charlotte Flair is ahead of her time. True greatness usually isn't realized until after you've been enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame. Such is not the case with Charlotte. Just open your eyes and experience the greatness. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. Now one of the most popular competitors in the women's and division. From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! We used to wonder if Liv Morgan could ever reach her potential. Well, she has done that and more. Yeah, who will ever forget when Liv Morgan won the Money in the Bank contract and managed to successfully cash it in on Ronda Rousey to win the SmackDown Women's Championship. You have Charlotte Flair here, a talent who eats, sleeps, and breathes this business and does nothing but train endlessly. Yeah, you would think with all that training on the top of her inherent abilities and natural athleticism that Charlotte wouldn't have to rely on bullying tactics and mind games and shortcuts so much then. Byron, I really don't think Charlotte so much has to rely on those things as she prefers to use them. After all, she learned, watch out. Turns the favor there. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Morgan on the receiving end. Stomp right on the knee. And Liv should have watched out for that attack. She's not smiling now. And you have to admit, all that training Charlotte puts in paid dividends there. Liv Morgan needs to figure this out. Yeah, Liv's defensive instincts need to kick in. Charlotte is such a deliberate, methodical superstar. Loves to break opponents down and soften them up on her path to victory. How do you counteract an in-ring competitor like Charlotte? Stick and move, Cole. Stick and move. She can't break you down if she can't attack you. Up high! And she doesn't connect. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Charlotte Flair proving that her superiority complex is well-deserved. Proving that Saxton's a geek who talks about mind games and shortcuts, even when proof... <laughs> Nasty chop delivered by Charlotte. Natural selection. Lives in a terrible predicament. Into a double knee drop. This match is wearing her down. Looks like Charlotte was uncorked with that attack. Great defense by Morgan. Ah, oh, look at this. Bear pull back slam. Catches the leg. Caught. Uh oh. Dragon screw. She wants to put an end to things here. Shot with the spear. 
And Charlotte setting herself up top. Uh-oh. Way too much. Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.